Thank you very much for being here. This is incredible. Uh, I am trying to get it together for all of you. Uh, I just went back to the dentist for the first time in three years for this, so needless to say, he was not thrilled with what I'd been up to with my own adult mouth in my off time. I feel like, personally, there's too much guilt at the dentist. They lay it on heavy. I thought as I got older, it would go away, but this is not true. Doesn't matter how old you get. Every time you go into the dentist, he's like, you didn't do your dentist homework, did ya? <laughs> I feel like the guilt is not needed. I also don't know if dentists know they're the only ones doing this. <laughs> Other medical professionals, it does not happen to the same degree. When I go to the optometrist, if my eyesight gets worse, he's not like, what were you doing? Were you looking? <laughs> Quit looking so hard. <laughs> and brush your eyes or something. <laughs> like if anything, my optometrist is too blasé. Every time I go in there, he's like, you could drive without your glasses. <laughs> if you want. I'm like, I don't want to. He's like, come on, do it, you coward. <laughs> do it at night. Let me follow you and film it. <laughs> There's an expression I love to describe an attractive person, which is to say that they are easy on the eyes. It's something, it's an old-timey expression. People say that. Take a look at them. They're easy on the eyes. It means they're hot, right? And I love this expression because it comes with the implication that unattractive people are hard on our eyes. That can't have ever been true. That's never come up. And the eye doctor I've never gone in. He's like, again, we need to strengthen your prescription. Who are you looking at? Quit going to Walmart. <laughs> you have got to stop watching so much British television. <laughs> we can only make the glass so thick, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I do feel like I'm getting my life together. Uh, I got married. I did that. I have a wife. Thank you. I got married and I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think if you're thinking about doing it, do it. It's great. So far, it is a lot of being asked to retrieve something <laughs> by someone who is closer to that thing than you. <laughs> so if there's not enough of that in your life, tie the knot. You get to have a lot of conversations about geometry post-matrimony. Yes, I'd love to get you that thing, but I just want you to understand that if I were to draw a line, from where I am now to the object you've requested, that line would go through you. In order to complete your request, I'm going to have to walk toward you, arrive at your location, say, excuse me, to you, and then complete my quest. But we'll do it, right? Because that's love or whatever. 